Oh, hey, didn't see you there. Just making adjustments to my quad cortex that I can't do on my laptop. Oh, wait, I can. Drop it. Hands free, feet free. No longer do we have to rely on bending over and editing our quad cortex presets. I'm so pumped about this. Um, if you guys, if this is your first time here on this channel, my name's Steve Strelacci. I do things with all of the major players in the amp modeling world. So if you're into amp modeling, capturing, consider subscribing to the channel. But today is all about quad cortex and something I'm so, so, so excited and... <sighs> Does it seem like I'm excited? Am I overdoing it? My God. This is something that I've been super critical of and this is kind of caused some rifts in my comment section big time because a lot of people don't like how critical I've been over the of the quad cortex. And really, if you're complaining about the things that I'm complaining about, then don't use them when they come out because this is something I've been saying for a long time that they really needed to get done and it's finally here. So we're gonna take a look at this and look how beautiful this is. Everything is like really sharp, really clean looking. This is something I got to preview at NAMM earlier last year. Yeah, last year at this point. And I'm really, really stoked on this. Um, just a heads up, I'll put links on how you can actually download this. It is a beta, so this is something that's not a public release, but it is a public beta. So you kind of have to use this and download at your own risk. Core OS 2.2 is available on the Neural website. I'll put it down below. All you have to do is download it, but you do have to update your unit to 2.2. So it's compatible. So, I mean, as you can see, everything is super, super clean. Um, you can change your modes from up here. I'm actually exploring this for the first time myself. Are these my scenes? Yep. So you have your scene view here. I would like to see my foot switches. Can I see my foot switches or no? Oh, cool, so you can show your gig view here. Your default scene, you can select these and that'll pull them up. And gig view actually popped up on my quad cortex on the floor. That's also really cool. So this is your master volume. Yep, okay. We could do our new neural capture device settings. Okay, this is our three dots. It's very reminiscent of what's actually on the board. So it should be something that's very familiar if you've been using your quad cortex for a while. You also have an onboard tuner. This is something that I don't think even Helix or Fractal has where the tuner pops up in the desktop editor. That's a huge plus, really nice feature. This is a great way to be able to tune up without having to look down. I'm big on workflow. Workflow is very important to me and this definitely makes my workflow much easier. So you have a grid view and you have a directory view the directory view is where you could get to your presets. You have all your sorting, you have your presets here. Let's see, if I go to here, I'm gonna go to my grid. Oh, this is great. So down here, you have all of your views. You have your preset view, your stomp view. So your eight available foot switches are all right here. So let's see, if I wanna add something, so you have your block selected. I love that you can choose where you're putting this. Unlike the Tone Master Pro, if you guys have been peeping those videos, I've put a couple of those out. This is something you can't do in the Tone Master Pro where you can't add blocks where you want them. You have to add them in a row. So if I wanted to add something, this is just gonna be arbitrary messing around with this here. We're not gonna be too long with this video. So overdrive, let's add. An exotic boost. Typically, when I use my real booster, I'm going to be like here, a little bit of volume. Still auto assigns. Please stop, please. Please stop auto assigning these for me. I don't want this to happen. Neural, if you are listening, please stop auto assign. Nobody wants this. I don't think anybody on earth wants you to auto assign to the nearest available foot switch. We are big people, we are adults, we can figure this out on our own and assign these where we want them. Let me know if you agree with that in the comments, please. So here, you could just change your assignment. This is actually nice. I like the way this looks. This is a cool layout for assigning your foot switch. Um, say I want this to be on foot switch H. It's that easy just to swap it over. Yes, it's easy just to swap the foot switch, but can we just not do it? 
I'm going to harp on that a while. I'm sorry. So if I did on a sign, so how can I totally unassign this is a question that I have because Yeah, so on the unit, I can unassign. And here, or can I, oh, I can trash it here, good. So you can hit the trash icon right there and unassign. Oh, cool, so this is all thing, okay, I'm seeing this now. So you can hide your parameter editor or have it up at all times. If you like what you have, you could just minimize it there. You have your modes configuration. Okay, this is nice. You have your MIDI section, MIDI section right there. I am really, really excited about this. This, I mean, it's really easy to use. Like, look at this. You want to add something, everything's right here. Um, let's just go to completely new preset here now I'm gonna say it because I have to say it let us go to lane two please all I want in my life is to not have auto assign and I don't want you to not let me have row two why can't I move this to input two or to lane two I want this output to go to this input why can't I have that Instead, we have to, no, okay. You know how I feel about this. Please fix those two things, and then I think the quad cortex is the number one unit. If we could just fix those two things, please, please, please just do that for me. And you don't even need to give me credit. Just do it, and you'll be so much happier you did. So let's say we're gonna build a random arbitrary preset here. I'm gonna throw a compressor up front. So we've got our boss compressor, go through a couple of overdrives. And I am just able to fly through this. This is so nice. Noble's ODR. Third overdrive. Let's do... Can I spacebar to bypass? No. So spacebar doesn't bypass, but you can double click to bypass. Wait a minute. Oh, because I'm in C mode. I thought, I thought that was it. I thought they weren't auto assigned and unfortunately they are. I'm gonna trash these because I do not want these assigned in that order. Thank you though. My captures are right there. My 64 Baseman, my favorite amp of all time, which is not in the Tone Master Pro for absolutely no reason. What a dumb move on them to not put that in. Um, I've got a cabinet and then from here, Put a CE2, I could put a delay, analog stereo delay, wrap this up with a lush reverb, and I've got a full preset built in literally no time. I don't care what anybody says, doing this on the desktop editor is so much faster than anything else, touchscreen or not. I'm actually, like now that Tomaster Pro has come out, I'm like burnt on touchscreens. I'm almost sick of it because it's not that great. Using a touch screen is not that great. This is where this stuff really is, it's so much easier. Doing everything here, just flew through this and made a preset. This would take so much longer on the unit, having to tap, drag, do all that crap. This is the way, in my opinion. I'm so happy that they did this. So that's really all I wanted to do here was just show you a brief overview of this. Again, the links to get this are in the description below. While you're there, subscribe to the channel if you haven't. And if you made it this far in the video, thanks for watching. I will see you in the next one.